Welcome to Click. I'm Spencer Kelly. For many of us, hospitals are strange, foreboding places. If you're really lucky, you'll only have to visit one a few times in your life. But for the medical staff who work here, they're a home from home. So maybe it's no surprise that gadgets and technology that we have in our living rooms are now finding a new lease of life in the wards. Britain's National Health Service celebrates its 60th birthday this year, and it's come a long way since its inception. But although technology is creeping into everyday treatments and procedures, many old working practices still survive. Now, when you go to a hospital, having an X-ray taken is a pretty standard procedure. But there's a problem with these things. They're just photographic film, and as such, they take a while to develop. And also, if someone else in the hospital wants to see your X-ray, you have to put this in an envelope, send it to them. They need to look at it, put it back in an envelope, get it sent back. And have you noticed that hospitals can be quite big places? So all that could take some time. There is a solution, and that is to go digital. Having an X-ray taken here at the Countess of Chester Hospital in the northwest of England no longer involves any film or photographic chemicals. Instead, this beast of a machine scans the image straight into a central database, making it instantly available here on the radiology ward and at the same time across the hospital in the consultant's office. Here, the images are scrutinised by expert eyes on high-resolution screens. And while other hospitals are doing the same thing, here in Chester, they've gone one step further. No calcification noted projected over the kidneys full stop. Using speech recognition with a specialised medical dictionary to add notes directly to the image cuts out the need for dictation and eliminates typing errors. As long as it doesn't introduce speech recognition errors, we'll all be fine. Well, the reports that I've done this morning, now that I'll stop for a quick break, I'll sign them off as I'm having a cup of tea or coffee, and the reports are then immediately available on the wards to the doctors who need the information. So there's no sitting around for several days waiting for the typists to catch up with the reports and then waiting for us to check their typing. So, very rapid turnaround. I think it would be a mistake to actually um, think that innovation is anything new to the health service, and certainly anybody within the health service um, it gets very upset when you say that the health service is going to be, uh, undergo some sort of technical revolution because in fact in its 60-year history it's seen some tremendous changes in the way that actually health care is, is delivered to the patient. It's just that recently what has happened is, is the actual user interface for the health service has changed quite radically. And the new interface starts at the front door. Patients can register at reception here at the Royal Orthopaedic Hospital in Birmingham, and this signals their arrival on the ward. And that's not the only use for the touch screen. This tablet PC is being used to replicate the standard drawings made during a consultation with a physiotherapist. Just like the x-rays, this information is added to your electronic patient record. It's all the stuff your doctor gathers about you, stored centrally for authorised users to access when they need it most. Installing a wireless network makes that data easier to read, or in this case, update. Now, once you've got your Wi-Fi network set up in the hospital, you can do other things with it apart from just send patient records around and about. Because believe it or not, patients aren't the only important things lying around these places. Doctors need equipment that's mobile, which usually means fitting wheels to absolutely everything. But that can make just the right bit of kit hard to find in a hurry. Well, staff here at the Bristol Royal Hospital for Children have a button on their phone marked Cooey. You press it and tell it what you're looking for. What would you like to locate? Wheelchair. There are eight wheelchairs. The nearest is at Ward 38, room 20. So that's all well and good. You've got some good directions there, but maybe you need a bit more detail about how to get from here to there. So on this terminal, we have a map. And just as you'd expect, it'll point you in the right direction, with an accuracy of just a few metres. The system knows where each bit of kit is by listening out for a tag like this, and then triangulating its position between three Wi-Fi access points. And that's not all. Wi-Fi phones give access to the voice-activated system when you're away from the desk. Wheelchair. Previously, if we needed a piece of equipment, you'd have to ring around all the ward areas to see whether they had it. They would clearly need to be able to find it in a cupboard. Sometimes they didn't look in the cupboard. That would take about 20 minutes. But now all we need to do is look it up on the computer, quick two-minute job on the computer, phone for a porter, and then a bit of equipment comes. So, in theory, nothing will ever be lost again. I wish I could say the same about me.